30 times. Ten times more. Two times more. Letting go and stop. So when you're worthy to receive, it's not gonna be on match.com when you're looking at body parts and whatever else. <laughs> this is gonna be like ka-ching. An like, energy like, connection. Wow, yeah. like that came out of nowhere because <laughs> when you're in survival and you're in separation and you're in lack and you're forcing and controlling and trying to predict outcomes, you're matter trying to change matter. And of course, it's going to take time for this to happen because you're creating a three-dimensional reality and everything in three-dimensional reality takes time. Mm -hmm. But when you're creating from the heart with a coherent brain and a coherent heart and you got that 5G Wi-Fi signal, it's, it's not like you go anywhere now. <laughs> there, the experiences are coming to, you're drawing the event to you. So, mm. so we spend a lot of time bonding with our future emotionally. I have colleagues of mine who look at our, our data on oxytocin and they're like, uh, listen, oxytocin levels go up during, a, you know, when I'm, when I'm in, a, in a relationship, the honeymoon stage of relationship and it, a monogamy is created because of those chemicals or uh, a female mammal is bonding with our offspring. That's exactly right. I want our people, our students to bond and fall in love with their future just like they do with somebody else. And when you're bonded to your future, no person, no circumstance, no thing is going to remove you from it. So then, if you fall from grace during the day, then the next question is, what person, what circumstance caused me to disconnect from my love in the future? Mm. And let me rehearse in my mind, if I have that same circumstance, how I'm going to overcome it. And now you're worthy of love. Thirty times. Ten times more. Two times more. 
Letting go and stop. It's no longer the person or the event. It's just you're doing what it takes to stay in the emotion of your future. Your, your, your body is aligned emotionally to that future. So great doing it with a meditation. That's easy. But now the real game is open your eyes. <laughs> open when your eyes. Happening, it's happening. Open, open your eyes and be in the initiation of life mm. and stay in that place and just yeah. know that your future is going to happen. So, so being able to activate the heart and breathe in there and get the body out of survival and start working with it like it feels safe enough to create. Once energy makes it here, you're going to get some really good ideas. Yeah. You're gonna see things you never thought of seeing. You're gonna feel things you never thought you'd feel. And the, the, the images that you're creating, what are they doing? The thoughts that you're creating, they're making more of those chemicals. And now you're feeling more of the, the feeling of your future before it happens. You're, you're giving your body a sampling, mm. a taste of the future before it's happened. Keep doing that enough times and that feeling is gonna become very familiar to you. There's a lot I want to unpack there. There's a great image. So um, you asked. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. I, I want to keep on this topic for a while. Uh, there's a great image on page 123 of your book, Becoming Supernatural. And we'll, we'll put this in the, uh, the YouTube video. Uh, we'll put it side by side here somewhere when we're editing this up. But you have this image here, which is the body versus uh, as energy and the body as matter. Mm -hmm. And what happens when you're in an energetic field uh, when you're a magnet of the energy versus when you're, I guess, reacting in a place of fear, anxiety, and stress. Yeah. Is that Thirty times. Ten times more. Two times more. Letting go and stop. Let me see if I can say this another way. Um, there was a, a researcher uh, out of Yale University that uh, in the 1940s that was studying electromagnetic fields around living organisms. And in the 1940s in Yale, at Yale University, nobody was doing this. And he was a, a vitalist. He wanted to understand the unseen fields around living organisms. So he started studying eggs, all kinds of eggs. Chicken eggs, you know, swallow eggs, reptile eggs, snake eggs, salamander eggs, there's all kinds of eggs. And he was using a magnetometer and what he found was what 100% of the time, no matter what egg he measured, the positive charge was always at the head mm -hmm. and the negative charge was always at the tail. Well, if you have positive charge on one end and negative charge on the other end, you got an external electromagnetic field called a magnetic field. That's a magnet, right? What happens with human beings is every thought has a frequency. Every thought produces a chemical. So if you keep obsessing about your lack, your lack of finances, your lack of time, your lack of energy, lack, 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 and, and those thoughts. I don't have this, I, I don't need know. this, what, I want What are this. the chemicals you're feeding your body? You're taking thought 
It's producing a frequency, and that frequency in the form of chemistry is storing that thought emotionally right in your second center. You feel guilty, you feel unhappy. The moment you feel unhappy, then you generate more thoughts equal to that feeling, which makes more chemicals, and you keep taking energy from the brain and storing it in the body.